They say they're going to pre-board those passengers in need of special assistance. Cripples! Simple, honest, direct language. There's no shame attached to the word cripple that I can find in any dictionary. No shame attached to it. In fact, it's a word used in Bible translations. Jesus healed the cripples. Doesn't take seven words to describe that condition. But we don't have any cripples in this country anymore. We have the physically challenged. Is that a grotesque enough evasion for you? How about differently abled? I've heard them call that differently abled. You can't even call these people handicapped anymore. They'll say, we're not handicapped, we're handy capable. <laughs> these poor people have been bullshitted by the system into believing that if you change the name of the condition, somehow you'll change the condition. Well, hey, cousin, <laughs> doesn't happen. Exactly. Does Best way to socially manipulate any class of people is to get on, act like you're on their side and you're rooting for them but you put it off how you want it to be, and they'll fucking fall for it every damn time. Over some stupid, ignorant bullshit like words. Just words. Literally. Doesn't change anything, just words. I would even get into the religious aspect on that, but I'm not. Thank you. I know. We have no more deaf people in this country. Hearing impaired. No one's blind anymore. Partially sighted or visually impaired. We have no more stupid people. Everybody has a learning disorder. Okay, I, I want to address that. It seems like the whole fucking world has a damn learning disorder now. And fact is, once our schooling has went into the shit like it's going now, they're literally every damn one of them's going to be learning disabled. The schooling right now isn't worth a shit. And I hate to say it, but the 80s had probably the best schooling. So if you were born in the 80s or during the 80s at some time, maybe the early 90s, before the arithmetic changed into complete garbage, you're a pretty smart individual. You were probably around 35 to 40 years old. You're technically probably 40 if you were born in the early 80s like myself. So just trying to throw that out there. The arithmetic's turning into shit. My kids aren't even in that intelligent. It's embarrassing to watch all seven of my children get dumber and dumber despite going to school. Every damn one of them got dumber and dumber and dumber. I hate to say that about my own children, but it's true. It's not that they got dumber and dumber. It's the fact that the educational system got cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Just like our law enforcement gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. People talking about defunding them. My God, they've been defunded enough. That's why we got them out there killing people left and right. Because it's so cheaply funded. If they'd actually pour some money into the damn police force, we'd have a better police force. You get what you pay for. People's perspectives are so screwed up because the government likes to manipulate us into thinking one way so they can get what they want. And what do you do? You fall right for it and hand it over to them on a silver fucking platter. Do I sound like George Carlin? Probably a little bit. All I gotta do is rough my voice up a little bit. You know, these dumb white people, these dumb black people, all fighting each other. You know who the real enemy is? The guy is the fucking government. They don't even see it. You know, if that makes you feel better, hey, it's true, all right? Or he's minimally exceptional. Yeah. How would you like to be told that about your child? I already know He's it. minimally exceptional. Sex. Oh, thank God for that. I try to do what I can, but you know, kids don't listen to their parents. They don't listen to people they don't know. Psychologists actually have started calling ugly people those with severe appearance deficits. <laughs> I didn't even know that. It's getting so bad that any day now I expect to hear a rape victim referred to as an unwilling sperm recipient. Oh, shit. There we go. He touched on the base I was talking about with the pedophilia. They're going to normalize it. It's going to be something like a sexually attracted to... A uh, formless body or something. It's going to be some way of placating th the people that are so screwed up that they have to rape children, you know? And it's going to become the new norm. I'm telling you it's going to become the new norm. I'm telling you right now. So in five to ten years, people aren't surprised that it happened. They can look back and say, oh, well, we kind of made that happen because we gave them everything we, we had and wanted on a silver platter, so we made that happen ourselves. Imagine the fear of aging that reveals. To not even be able to use the word old to describe someone. That yeah, they're talking about, oh, he's 90 years young. So you can't even say the word old anymore. you got to use the word young. So he's touching on that. To use an antonym. And fear of aging is natural. It's universal, isn't it? We all have that. No one wants to.
to get old, no one wants to die, but we do. So we bullshit ourselves. Exactly. I started bullshitting myself when I got to my 40s. As soon as I was in my 40s, I'd look in the mirror and I'd say, well, I, I guess I'm getting older. Better. Older sounds a little better than old, doesn't it? Sounds like it might even last a little longer. <laughs> Bullshit, I'm getting old. And it's okay. And it's okay. Because thanks to our fear of death in this country, I won't have to die. I'll pass away. <laughs> yeah, that's it. People don't realize how powerful words really are. Words, there's, there's power in words. And when you start changing them around, manipulating them in such a way, it doesn't matter that if, say you have two equal planes, okay? Well, one is just off a slight degree. By the time you get way down here, it's off a lot. See what I'm saying? So all you have to do is just change it just a hair. Chaos theory. You change the words around just a little bit, manipulate them just enough that over time you get what you want. And that's what the government does. And the people fall right into it. Instead of saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, I see what you're fucking trying to do. And I ain't fall for that shit. Because I know that in five or ten years, this is what's going to happen. And I ain't going to have that because I got children. That's how I look at it right now. I've been looking like that for like 20 years now. Of course, you know, 20 years of being me. You know, well, 40 years of being me. But 20 years of preaching the stuff I've been preaching to people. You know, people just don't like the truth. Even though they want to hear it. Once they hear it, they didn't want to know. So why ask? Unless you're a rich white man, nobody's going to listen to you. Or unless you're rich, it doesn't matter what color you are, like I said.